one of the giraffe catfish, the one from Niger sitting in the middle right now. It's a Alcanoglanus species. You can see the, uh, the Congo is right in front, the Congo is passing in the back, and in the middle is sitting the Niger giraffe catfish. We need to get it out of there and put it in, into the 1800 gallon tank. It'll be safer there. I think it's a rare fish and I, I, don't want, I don't want to lose it and once in a while it gets bothered as well. Right now it's a uh, left pectoral fin is uh, torn up. This is the boucher, they're more assertive, more aggressive. We have to bouch a giraffe catfish, they can stay here. For now at least anyway. But the Niger giraffe catfish has to go. Niger Giraffe and his new tank, exploring and settling. We've had a problem off the bat with the other two giraffe catfish from Volta River in this tank were bothering it and chasing it and nudging it and what looked like biting it, even though their mouths are like porthole mouths and smooth, toothless but they were bothering it bothering the Niger giraffe catfish non-stop sorry, it's thundering here 
so I had to change the order, try to change the order of introduction. And the two Voltas are in timeout right now. The bigger one is the female. And the smaller one is a male. So they were both bothering the, the new night the new giraffe catfish in the in the new tank. So I'm giving them a time time out maybe for about an hour in this uh, in this cooler and then gonna reintroduce them back, change the order of introduction and see if they leave them alone. Because the fish are the most vulnerable when they are new in the tank and stressed and breathing heavy and everything scares them. So any additional bullying is, is really is really a bad bad idea. Which unfortunately with us being a rescue and not having enough tanks and having too much personal too many personal fish we constantly run into this kind of problems and as you know sometimes we lose fish because of it as some of you know we we have uh, seven giraffe catfish this one is from the Niger River, two from Volta River, two from Congo River, and two from uh, Bauchia, whatever, how you say it, location or river. And usually giraffe catfish are rather docile, but they do have a very certain uh, pecking order when they keep when you keep them together so they know the place in the pecking order for sure and they can be aggressive it's a on and off and kind of a hit and miss situation they are from the from the clarotade uh, family which is not a family of docile uh, fish but not very aggressive either all of ours are also from the Alcanoglenis genus which is currently in taxonomic limbo meaning that the scientists can't figure out how many can't agree how many species in that genus there are and what they are. Some say eight or seven, others say two or three. Which is the reason why I, uh, I'm hesitant to give these guys uh, taxonomic scientific names because the science itself is not sure yet. Niger is a Niger giraffe is an interesting fish. It's got a oversized tail. At least our specimen has a deep set eyes. And its body overall body proportions are a little bit different from other giraffe catfish from the Alcanaglanus genus. It's got it can be almost yellow at the time, sometimes it's stressed, so it's not its uh, relaxed coloration. When it's relaxed, it can be almost bright yellow with faint uh, brown spots, round spots all over the body. They seem, uh, the spots seem uh, random, but if you look at them long enough, you might be able to see some lines. So they may be arranged in lines, but they to a superficial glance, they look random. Anyhow, the Volta has been here for a while, and now we're ready to put him back in there and hope for the best. Here is the male. OK. 
Okay, Mr. Troublemaker. Here is a female. She's only about uh, maybe four inches longer. The male is about 14 inch. She's about foot and a half. Much, much heavier though. Back in the tank they go. You better leave the Niger uh, giraffe alone. Otherwise you're coming out again. Volta are supposed to be one of the smaller growing Alcanaglanis. The smallest is probably Biscotatas, which uh, seem to never ex exceed 10 to 12 inches. Volta, as you see, females can reach foot and a half. This, fem this, this female is, uh, is about seven years old. And our male is uh, probably about five years old. And as I said, he's about 14 inches. You can see them very well here, it's too dark. That's our story again for now. The one hour timeout wasn't enough. The Volta female was still bothering the Niger giraffe catfish. So it went into this 240 gallon tank for now. Maybe for about a month. Let it cool down. The smaller male is left in the in here in the 1800.